Welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. I'm your host, uh, Rita, and this is Eric. No, Welcome. I'm not. I'm not here. Oh. Ah, now I'm here. <laughs> Anyways, we want to thank you for tuning in tonight. Uh, we're apologizing for some of you. We haven't done a video in a while, by the way. Um, I was just going to ask if we upload the last ones and clear yes, up. Yes, 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 so yes. This is the new one. Yes, finally. So anyways, we will be reviewing the Pirate's Gold. Thanks to Johnny Sticks, by the way. I right? have a feeling this is from the old batch because they were just recently re-released and I don't see the size here. They, uh, the closest this comes to is a 6x50, but this has to be under a 50 ring gauge. There, there's no way this is a 50 ring gauge. So, given the fact that this size isn't available, tells me it's from the old, old blend. Um, which, the reason it took a hiatus, well, I'll get to all that. It is an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper with Dominican, Brazilian, and Nicaraguan long fillers, if it holds true that the new release is the same blending. I can't tell you for certain, as the old blending info seems to be gone. Um, in 2007, uh, Rolando Reyes Sr. Uh, turned over the reins of the Piros Indios company to his grandson, uh, Carlos Diaz. Oh, which, um, thank you for bringing that up for a second. Which reminds me, I, I just want to remind our uh, brother in the league, Johnny Sticks, that uh, you should not neglect a Puros Indios chief, man. It needs to be smoked. Go ahead, light that baby up. Continue, Eric. Anyways, Diaz decided that he was going to essentially renovate the entire company, renaming it from the uh, Puros Indios Cigar Company to the Reyes Family Cigars. Uh, apparently many of the blends that were on the market were just ripped off the market as if he just started his own company and just ditched everything his grandfather had done. Uh, Sounds like a real jack-off in my opinion. For, I can't know. say that. I mean, usually when somebody takes, uh, takes over for their grandfather, usually they're bringing back out things that their grandfather had made using old names, etc. <laughs> Uh, so, this is kind of a reversal. Pirate's Gold is essentially a Puros Indios. Uh, and, and this will be the first time we've ever smoked a Rolando Reyes Sr. cigar. He, uh, he made And me, you've been wanting to smoke a Puros Indios for years. He, yeah, but I want the Chief. the Chief. I want the Chief, but I'm not saying the... I'm just telling J.S. he needs to smoke it. Now, before we get into this, I do want to tell yeah, you all... I'm you thinking... can't find the Chief anymore, though. It's yeah, and it's like thirty-two dollars in Europe. You can buy the cheap for like thirty-two to forty yeah, bucks. Yeah, but they're at least seven, eight years old now. Well, anyways, what I want to say about this is this: every time Aaron was talking about this, I was thinking of uh, Cigar International's cheap yeah. and hesitant pirate. Yes. In fact, the image on the front of this looks a little like Kelsey Grammer in a pirate's hat with a patch. Our, Didn't he do that in the down periscope? I don't know if he actually wore the patch when he uh, uh, had uh, Rod Schreider walk the plank. But I thought that was a good movie, you know, great movie. So uh, for those who don't know, we're talking about down periscope. That's what I just said. So did you? Yes, I did. Well, that's what she said. I said that. I know. So are you picking up anything or not? Oh, yeah, so it's a nice hay smell. Very nice hay smell. And hay smell. I'm the picking too. nothing off this. I will say it's an ugly looking wrapper. What do you think? This looks almost like a Trader Jackson uh, construction. I mean, yeah, that, it this looks is pretty damn looking. poor. And I'm not picking up anything off the dry This pub. is obviously a very budget blend from the wrapper. So, I want to say... Like cocoa off the dry puff. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to say thanks to uh, Brother of the Leaf Johnny Sticks for this lighter. I keep calling this my birthday lighter. And someday now, any day now, I should be getting my cigar sheath for the, uh, cigar lighter sheath for this lighter. Isn't that cool? 
Mm -hmm. Aaron made a joke the other day on video about it. Sometimes, I think it was on it. Some people just don't read the instruction manuals and get those little freebies. So, anyways, this is really cool. So, uh, let's kick the tires and light the fire, shall we? Um, something else I was going to say. Mm -hmm. You know, this even feels like a Trader Jacks in the mouth. Now, there's nothing wrong with Trader's Jacks. Uh, it's a J.C. Newman, but it's a very budget. So I think we paid like two fifty, you know. Uh, they're like a dollar twenty or something at our local B and M. It might even be a buck stick. It's like a Trader's Jacks for the most part. I won't say that. It's been a while since I had a Trader Jacks. I can't prepare. Uh, first, you know, again, I want to. It was Johnny Sticks, right? The donator of this. I want to thank Johnny Sticks for this wonderful donation. I also want to give a heads up for some of you out there, and it's just because of me. I want to share with you all. The other day, one of our subscribers emailed us. I think I thought she might have thought Aaron was replying, but I've been replying to her ever since. I want to thank Amy. Amy spoke like one or two emails and then sent me a tracking number for a package that she shipped. Uh, a cigar bomb to us. Now, it's stuff we've reviewed, but Aaron and I have discussed it. We might be reviewing, re-reviewing some of the sticks just to see if it's, you know, that it's hype still as, you know, cigars. We don't know what she is sending us because we don't have a, uh, a list, but I want to say uh, we'll be doing an unboxing video when it comes in, but I do want to thank uh, Amy ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Aaron? Yeah. Yes, I agree. Now, thank you. Sorry, I'm kind of been out of it for the last two days. I've had some kind of health concerns, so... Um, for some of you out there, you all know that I got a surgery date set up in October, and I said I was going to smoke that J.C. Newman Maximus, the Diamond Crown, but I think I'm going to wait on that until Tuesday, because as Aaron said in a previous video, I believe, uh, out of 730 days, this was the day on my birthday, August 9th, that I got a call saying the apartments were available for me and Aaron, so... We and that's kind of stressed us out. And if you want to know why we've kind of been on hiatus here, uh, right now we, after this, we only have two cigars to review together, and Rita's got six cigars to review solo. You said I had nine to review solo. No, I said total you have nine. You have a Reckoning. You have a Perdomo Craft Series Pilsner. You have a Nub Espresso, Nub Cafe Espresso. And uh, you've got the three uh, Ashton still. Mm. Uh, and then we have the Pirates Gold. We have a G2 Habano uh, re-review. Uh, different uh, different Tola. Tola. And then we have uh, Don Thomas Nicaragua. So. so tonight after my cleaning and dinner and dishes and... Every, everything else that a woman's got to do in the house, including men, if they want to keep their place clean, I decided it was time to do a uh, cigar review. I was telling that to Amy, who's sending the cigar bomb, and that I will try to get to do uh, a cigar. Also, I told Aaron today, uh, Amy, that you had a CAO La Traviata. Like that, those La Traviatas. I've tried both of them. They're both very good. She was talking, uh, yeah, exactly. And I told her they're a damn good thing. Aren't, uh, uh, hold on. Isn't those the ones that are the ones that are store only? Uh, yes, they are B&M only. So for those who are wondering about the health concerns I've had, um, over the last, like, six years, I've had a problem between my shoulder and chest area, upper chest, when I walk or uh, do activity or anything that it starts hurting. Uh, I've been cleared of any heart problem or anything like that. Uh, however, last night it was bothering me to the point I couldn't sleep and I wasn't even doing any activity. Um, and it seemed to be radiating from my shoulder, but I don't know. The doctors have no clue. I've gotten like 20 different possibilities and everything they try doesn't seem to treat it. So. Uh, it just kept me up all night, and 
I, it's also possible I had a seizure last night. I, I had a weird feeling headache here, and you know, I it felt like it was on the exterior of the skull rather than the interior. But when I go to touch, it felt more interior than exterior, and so that was driving me crazy too. And so I've just had a kind of bad couple days, uh, health wise. I told him once we're in Moses Lake, we will personally see the doctor more on uh, I'm beginning that. to think, though, that doctors are inept. I mean, it's been over six years that I've been going to various different doctors about this, and no one has a clue. And I, I almost feel like that Facebook mem with the tombstone where it says, I told the doctor I was sick. Well, what about uh, uh, Byron? Uh, we had a friend, Myron. Yeah, Myron. He was telling the doctor he was sick. A uh, similar problem, too. He was complaining about chest pain. And he kept telling the doctor, and the doctor said, Oh, you're just a hypochondriac. There's nothing wrong with you. They sent him to some specialists who all concurred. There was nothing wrong with him. He dropped dead. So there was something wrong uh, with Just him. so you know, that was the doctor I fired after my mother died, by the way. He was a real jerk. And then something happened, he went to Australia. It's actually my biggest concern with moving, even though I know it's like a necessity to get out of here. Uh, since this has been acting up, I'm afraid that I won't be able to carry boxes or lift anything without essentially collapsing from inability to breathe and chest pain. So uh, We have some help that's been offered, so we should take it. And no, it's not lungs either. My lungs are in perfect shape, so uh, they just have no clue. I've been through a gambit of heart tests. It's possible it might be high blood pressure, but the only way they could do that is if I keep record of my blood pressure at like 9 to 10 times a day over the course of a month and then return the results to them. It's like, I can't afford a blood pressure cuff. I can't take my own blood pressure. And there's no place around us that has one of those cuff machines where I can just walk in and stick my arm in it. Be like, oh, okay. What about Walgreens? I'm talking about near us. Oh. There's not one in this entire town except for maybe a Chopco, which is over a mile out of town. Just to walk to do it ten times a day, you'd be out of gas. I'd be turning around constantly. By the time I got home, it'd be time to go out and take it again. It's a good way to work. lose weight. <laughs> Don't give me any ideas. I do need to lose a few pounds myself, but... I've been exercising again. Anyways, so. we haven't even talked about the flavors of this. We've just been chatting, chatting, chatting. It's kind of got a cocoa leatherness. I'd say it's a dry leatherness. In my kind opinion. of uh, like a weak, weak, weakened coffee, but it doesn't have any coffee flavor. It's just a kind of a watered down cocoa and leather. Uh, good for the salivary glands, You're really getting them going. A little wet cardboardish uh, aftertaste. Um, I really can't believe it. Rita does not remember from her childhood like ever chewing on cardboard or anything. <laughs> maybe it was just me. Uh, maybe I ate the paint chips too. <laughs> Anyways, uh, burning kind of fast here. Uh, not real good for a small Vitola. To be burning this fast. Did you figure out what it is per stick, for price per stick? Well, these are just budget, so I don't know, dollar a stick, dollar fifty a stick, two a stick. And it, it's not expensive. They're affordable. So um, we can look them up uh, as we get to the halfway point. You know, we've been. 14 minutes of gabbing. Why don't we just come back at the halfway point, let you know how this progresses. Stay tuned. Yeah. Welcome back to uh, the second half of this uh, review. Uh, Aaron? Well, so far so good. It's, uh, this would make a fantastic little yard guard. Uh, no doubt about it. It's, been nearly flawless in the uh, the burn, which is very nice. Uh, shows the quality right there. And uh, flavors are very mild to medium, not very nicotine rich. 
uh, nice little tasty. Honestly. Yeah, I'm picking up in the halfway just a light pepper taste. Um, but it's very mild, and in my opinion, I would highly recommend this cigar so far. It's even we got a slightly fruity retro hail. I don't which know. Is I retro hailed uh, last night by mistake. <laughs> it didn't go too well, but it was smooth when it did come out. So I don't usually retro hail, but last night I did. After uh, before me and Aaron went on our dog walk, you know. It has a good ease of smoke. It is kind of falling apart for me here on the the cap just a little bit, but that's all right. Could be worse. You could have had a um, yeah, yeah. I could have had a torta, a torta, and have the whole cap come off. Yeah, <laughs> special. Uh, they're having a special till tonight on tortas again. Oh, such good like, flavors, but to uh, have construction like that, it's just awful. Mm -hmm. So, ugh. need to be careful sometimes when you. Uh, drink and eat and stuff, you know, it can be a food trap, so, anyways, with that said, everyone, my apologies, I had some stuff slurp out of there, I needed to wash it down, the cigar is a very good gar cigar so far, I'd recommend it for yard cars or something else, so, please, uh, please, please stay tuned, and we will get yeah, back we'll to see you the final, the final Hello and welcome to the final third of Pirate's Gold uh, from Piros Indios or uh, uh, the Reyes family tobacco or cigars. It's been very nice. Uh, getting some very nice coffee notes right now. A little bit of sweetness to it, but not too much. Uh, it's had a very nice burn nearly razor sharp. Can't complain about that. Um, here's the co-host. Yeah, sorry about that. I was testing out uh, The Sims. Actually, I was working on it. Very nice smoke output. Ooh, you still have to... It's still burning. I thought hers went out. No, nope, actually it didn't. I've been uh, leaving it here and there at times. I've been learning to take my cigars slower and they burn longer. As long as you know how to handle it, it works just fine. So, hmm. It's got a kind of soft ash to it, for those who are wondering. It's not terribly nicotine rich, but it does build in body throughout. But, yeah, this, I, I don't think, uh, uh, yeah. the nicotine for this is fairly weak, so, um, I highly recommend this cigar to Amy, who was telling me she is nicotine sensitive on cigars. So we're going to try in the future to basically say whether it's high in nicotine or low in nicotine. I kind of get the feeling this is low in nicotine. Doesn't affect me, doesn't bother me, doesn't make my head swimmy or anything like that. Well, so. in my opinion, as a cigar smoker, I'm going to say, full outright, that this cigar is mild body, mild flavors, Mild and nicotine, but in my opinion, do I recommend it? Yes, you need to try it at least once. Would I buy it again or no, smoke it? Would. If someone gifted it to me, I would smoke it definitely, but I wouldn't buy it even at affordable cost because. Well, I'm curious here because. Uh, well, for one, um, too many other things on the market. No. For one, it's uh, a short stick, doesn't burn long, and as Aaron said in various videos, some videos we need to be satisfied. This, uh, yeah. feel, this cigar hasn't given me a feeling well, satisfied. Well, this has been over an hour, and I feel satisfied from it. Uh, it would be one that I would definitely think about purchasing, especially as a humidor stretcher, so I don't have to get into my finer cigars. Yes, I agree there, but to me... Let me put it this way. This was the only cigar I was going to smoke in the day. This didn't pique my interest. This did not make me, you know, fulfilled, filled, filled up with happiness. It just is like, oh, it's a cigar, you know. No offense to you, Johnny Sticks. I know you like your little uh, 
cigars like this. I just this didn't leave me feeling. So you honestly didn't like it? No, I loved the cigar. It just didn't give me satisfaction to feeling uh, okay. satisfied, like you would say. And so I left you feeling like you haven't smoked. And me, on the other hand, I feel like I've smoked something. But nice. he's already smoked two of them today, so technically he should feel satisfied. I only smoked one today. <laughs> I don't know. I like the flavors of this. I kind of find that wheat coffee flavor that's coming in a little strong right now to be very pleasant, very pleasing. Um, and that's what I like to, when I talk about feeling like I smoked a cigar, it doesn't leave a nice, pleasant finish that just keeps going. Uh, and this one does. So. Well, it does, but to me, it doesn't feel like it satisfied me enough to say I've so had my more cigar. Nicotine, honestly. I would like a little more nicotine, and I would like another cigar. Well, then you may have another. You have your own box up there. <laughs> Dip into it. And find I'm going to go over to... Aaron's house and dip into his humidor because he's a generous guy. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Mama likes I'm generous, you. just not to you. <laughs> Mama hey. likes, doesn't he, Moppy? Mama likes, doesn't she, Moppy? Huh? And Daddy he can lose his little Moppy because look at this guy. He's sitting there and he's like, hmm. So let's go over to Daddy's house and write a few of his cigars. So, like Moppy... You have anything to say? Yes, yes I do. Please end subscribe. Please post comments. Please leave feedback suggestions. Just keep it nice as all we ask. If you tried this or you haven't, just let us know in the box below. And enjoy every puff. <laughs> From me and mommy and daddy. We Dog, salute you. Dogs yeah. and talk with human health. Well, enjoy every puff. Thanks for watching.